Hello gamers and welcome back to the channel, uh, Mezzo here, and uh, welcome back to Barrow Trauma. Now, <laughs> I've got a bit of a confession to make and it's um, slightly embarrassing and uh, somewhat frustrating. On my first recording of this, um, I like to record games live, I think you get a better reaction when we're doing these playthroughs um, from me, uh, but the, the, the mic didn't pick up my voice for some reason, no doubt user error. Anyway, um, rather than uh, can the whole thing and start from a couple of episodes, a um, couple of missions down on the next one, I thought I might as well just try and do a voiceover because I really want this to be sort of a consistent playthrough. I don't want you guys to miss out on things. And aside from which, I, I, I'm trying to do some a bit of a tutorial at the same time, a bit of a sort of a guide as I learn. Um, and this and this game's got some of that in it so without further ado we're going to go with the voiceover and I hope it matches up with what you're seeing as best as I can um, and we'll go from there so here we are back at um, is this under moist station I think it is uh, just looking around the station for some uh, bits and bobs so doing a bit of shopping here as you can see I just picked up um, an SMG and some ammunition and I'm getting three fuel rods which I later realized I didn't actually need at all uh, but it's all good you can't have enough of those so now we're going to move through the um, station and I think the next thing to do is try and find some missions uh, this guy talks to me uh, uh, I think he's trying to sell me something from memory. Yeah, he wants to sell me uh, sell me an alien pistol. Um, having just bought an SMG, um, I'm going to decline that. So thanks anyway. I love how they've got these uh, these sort of side missions in these stations. It really gives the the place and personality. Although one slight frustration is you spend a lot of time walking around looking for for people. It'd be really cool if the devs could put in some sort of. Um, interface at the beginning at the bottom of the station or have places where shops are just fixed all the time like we find this guy here I think he's the crew guy uh, actually I'll, we'll get to that in a sec but yeah just something just to streamline the process a bit if you don't want to do the role-playing piece and walk around so here I am anyway I'm looking to buy a um, well actually looking for a medic because we we need a medic on the boat um, but there isn't one so I opt for an assistant I think here or, or is that later Possibly I don't. Possibly I'll leave this now um, and go and check out another station. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm sorry. So we don't buy anyone there. And then we find the captain at the top. They're normally in these quarters, but not always. And something else I learned is that you can um, pick up more than one mission uh, from these guys, which, which, is, which is cool. Um, so I grab a whole load of missions here. And then when we get back to the ship, we can choose which one we want. And as you'll see in this video, uh, pretty consistently just going to be going for the delivery missions early on not that fun to watch but um, they help build up the currency just while we get a, a core complement of crew and uh, maybe upgrade the submarine a little bit so down we go trying to go down obviously going down on the wrong ladder there back to the good old uh, HMAS eel and uh, and start the mission the medical item transport which is pretty cruisy 1500 marks no problems at all all right so now we're uh, now we're we're kicking off this mission um, we're going to uh, we're just going to uh, do a few bits and bobs on the ship i think we get us under a way to start with so barbara's putting good old awful kid on the reactor which is definitely the place to keep them um, I think it's more efficient to have someone running it and uh, also they can change the fuel rods and Maurice is going to go on the guns then we're going to get the ship underway to Similic City and off it goes and then we're just going to have a look at so we've got the medical supplies here this is where they drop the, the supplies sort of in the centre here and we'll drop those off when we get to the station here's the shopping so we've got three fuel rods as I mentioned we probably didn't need an extra three which I discover here that is chock a block with gear and uh, we'll just dump that down there take the uh, SMG ammo out and the SMG itself and pop that down there and then uh, we've got a ton of uh, a ton of fuel rods which is good stick the SMGs into the armory there and there and the ammo all good and then back to the navigation 
and now we will see you at Samalik City. So a pretty uneventful little trip there, which is good, nice and safe, um, as you would have seen in the fast forward uh, piece. So coming into Similic now, just um, trying to organize my gear here. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so something that uh, I found was quite handy for docking, because it can be a bit tricky, is just to click on maintain position once you get near to the, the station or the city and then use the autopilot to bring you in. So if you click on the on the screen, on the on the radar there, I'll just zoom in a bit, right on the the hatch of the city, basically the sub will automatically pile itself up to um, to to that point and, and you'll be able to dock quite easily then, which I'm hopefully gonna demonstrate here, although I've got to be honest with you, I'm still learning the ropes and it's uh, not always a smooth process as you can see. Just a little bit of tweaking. Ooh, nudge on that. Luckily it doesn't seem to do any damage to the sub. And hopefully almost there, there we go. Click and in we go. Nice, mission done. So 1500, sorry 15, yeah 1500 marks for that which is good and um, obviously some sort of reputation change with the Colony and Europa co Coalition, which I need to get my head around. Okay, so the medical supplies have been dropped off. Now we are off to look for, um, I think we wanna see if we can get that medic. Oh, I just got a mission there, biohazard. That's another delivery mission. And here's the Here's the crew management dude again. And still, again, no medics. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh, bugger it, we might as well get someone. Because we've got 4,583 marks, which is not a bad amount of cash after a couple of missions. Um, so we're going through them, and we're looking at the assistance. And what I'm looking for here is one that's got good medical skills, but also can be used later so I'm looking for good weapon skills because what I'm going to do is use the assistance to come on the reg dives with me and Stevie looks like the chap what I don't what I didn't realize at the time and I will later is that their medical skills don't make them immediately heal your other um, crew members so it was probably slightly the wrong move to do at this stage and maybe just be, if I'd been patient and waited for a medical guy, that probably would have been good. But anyway, it, it is what it is. Stevie's now part of the crew. I can always sack him, but I don't want to do that. I can just hide him. So picking up another couple of missions here from the um, from the skipper of the city or the mayor or whatever they're called. I don't really know what they're called. Commander. And uh, we're good to go again. I'm trying to, I think, I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, she clicked the wrong button there. So down we go to the sub. And actually, you don't really need to go all the way down. I don't know why I always do this. You can just click at the top of the screen there and it says leave Similic and, and off you go. You'll appear on the sub. So let's choose this mission now. Back to Under Moist. Such a dodgy name. So we've got two delivery missions here, Biohazard and the Chemical Shipment. Uh, I opted for the biohazard because it's just worth 400 more marks and whilst you're carrying husk eggs which isn't great um, 
they're in a box, all sealed up. Let's just do it, get some more money. Okay, so let's just check the hus eggs are in there. That's nice. They're all sealed up. Doesn't look like there's any problems. Let's get the uh, let's get the boat underway. Off to under moist. There she goes. And now we can mess around with our crew here. So we're going to get uh, who are we doing first? Stevie onto the guns. Oh, actually no. Here I was looking to see if I could get Stevie to heal, but it didn't immediately appear to me and I found it under the emergency piece he goes running off but then he's kind of like oh, I don't think anyone needs healing so as I said not the right move for the dock but that's okay we can stick him on the guns later Orville on the reactor as always Maurice doing some repairs on the on the fly and Stevie on the bottom gun Good. Right, next. Now, I'm going to show you the batteries here. So, on uh, you didn't see this, but on the last journey I charged them up. You can you can recharge them or, or, or turn them off. And when they've got that full green bar there, you can see they're fully charged. Um, now, the reason for charging those batteries up, I imagine it's a drain on the fuel rod, so you probably don't want them charging all the time. But what you can do, and I'm showing you here, is certain equipment, such as the... Um, the uh, underwater speeder thing and the p portable sonar and your headset all use batteries and the more you use them obviously the more the battery drains so um, uh, particularly for that underwater um, sled thing so I've taken the battery out of the headset here and what you can do is you can pop it into the the batteries in the uh, well they're in the reactor room here that probably not always in the reactor room but if you put them in there they'll charge up so and that will take a bit of the charge off the battery and then you can recharge the battery from the nuclear reactor so that's how you recharge your batteries it's basically the same as the oxygen um, generator uh, but just for electric or battery powered things city here um, but I just wanted to um, pause the action to show you that um, Maurice interestingly did heal himself up uh, when you're working as an engineer you can get uh, some damage to yourself um, from electric burns or mechanical um, injuries and uh, Maurice healed himself up whilst he was uh, whilst we were traveling to Undermoist of his own accord so um, that was pretty cool, um, although he's injured himself again. And here we are, just getting attacked by some sneaky... Um, are they thrashers? I need to work out what all these bad guys are. Uh, but we see them off without any issue, which is cool. And um, make our way onto Undermoist. But they're still going there, but uh, good old Stevie's ripping them apart underneath, which is great. So, now... Uh, I think we'll just ping one more time to make sure they're gone. And uh, yeah, that's looking good. That green bubble off the front there, I think it's just a bit of um, turbulence off the bow. Or vortexing, probably to use the proper term. Good, so yeah, so uh, just to recap on that. So it seems like the AI is clever enough to heal themselves, which is really cool. I know there were some problems with bots not refilling their oxygen tanks um, in their diving suits that was talked about on the various forums uh, and that's been a point of some frustration for some some guys uh, but you know in general the AI seems to be pretty good and I'm sure that'll get tweaked over time so um, from a sort of perspective there's a bit of micromanagement but it's going okay at the moment so here we go coming into dock at uh, under moist city 
going to demonstrate my complete ineptitude at this again bang bang miss the dot chance go in again just absolutely crushing the the uh, hatch on the top of the sub here horrible stuff I promise I'll get better at this or I just will start cutting out of my video so you think I'm better right so there we go 1900 marks awesome pretty good stuff so I think we're getting towards the end of the video now which is great I um, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, I promise to do something a bit more exciting next time I promise to do a mic check before I start my video thanks for putting up with this uh, amateur effort here I hope it's worked out okay and if you've enjoyed it feel free to subscribe um, otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Mezzo out.